Hello, grade 9. My name is Mr. Ashraf. I'm a drama teacher. So in grade 9 this year, we are going to start with uh, different uh, style, different units than uh, grade 8. So we are going to take different styles with drama. So we are going to start, uh, to start with uh, the first style, absurd theater. So we are going to study uh, history, skills, techniques, and different uh, samples from uh, absurd theater. So first of all, we're going to start with the history. Absurd theater actually uh, started after the World War II, in 1950 and between 1950 and uh, 60s. Uh, theater uh, absurd, uh, the one who created this style, Martin Eslin. Uh, after uh, the, he finished uh, his career or job uh, during the World War II. So after that, he created this style in Europe. Theater of Absurd is related to uh, Nazism and Serialism. Uh, Martin Eslin actually, uh, when he created this style, uh, the influence will impact came from uh, those two movements uh, Dadism and Serialism be uh, during that time be Europe. So actually he uh, look at the, the first one, Dadism and it's about a dream, the Serialism about reality. So if you mix dream and reality, after that link it with an absurd theater, so we have a new style in a drama with a special techniques. So techniques in uh, Upset Theater actually it's different than the other styles in the drama. If we mention you know, no clear framework, if you look at the Upset the plays, uh, there is no meaning for anything. What is the meaning of no meaning? Martin Eslin, when he created this style, he mentioned the first sentence, no meaning for life. So the word no meaning for life, after that he reflect this uh, on the stage. He used like you know, uh, a stage, empty stage without set or decoration. Actually there is no props, no costumes, um, no uh, meaning for the word, no meaning for the character, no meaning for anything on the stage. So this is the difference between. Uh, theater of the observed and other styles in the drama. No meaning for anything on the stage. This is what Martin Eslin actually, he want to focus on that issue. We want to see the most important part be an observed theater. So each play be in other styles of a drama start with uh, special uh, a frame and we have uh, as you know, we took in a grade 8, linear or non-linear. Linear style actually started with beginning, middle, ending. Non-linear style actually uh, uh, we made or to, we make uh, a shift with timing. So there is no plot uh, during the uh, play or the uh, scene. So what is the difference between an absurd theater and an other style according to the plot? The other style, they have beginning, middle, ending, but in opposite theater, we don't have beginning, we don't have middle, we don't have ending. Actually, they made shift be a timing. So this is the major thing be an opposite theater. And there is, uh, they use a lot of plots during the play. Every single scene, there is a plot. So we have more than one a plot. And this is actually the major difference between upset theater and other styles in a drama. So after a difference between the plot, we're going to see the script or to see the words that they use it be an upset theater. If you read this example or the words here be for each uh, 
character there is no meaning for the conversation between two characters so this is another major difference between uh, opposite theater or other styles with drama actually they use a different language and they use a different word and there is no meaning for the conversation between the characters Famous playwrights in the Upsal Theatre, we have Harold Printer, Samuel Beckett, we have uh, uh, Eugene Unesco, we have Edward, we have Tom, we have Frederick, we have uh, Fernando, uh, a lot of playwrights. Uh, the famous one, Samuel Beckett, actually the one who wrote Waiting for Godot, and we are going to take this play as an example. We are going to take scenes from that play and we are going to see all the elements and techniques that he used it be that a play. Soma El Pekit, actually the one who wrote Waiting for Godot. Godot, it means maybe futures, maybe uh, nothing. Until now, we don't know what's the meaning of Godot. Godot, it's a word, but actually this is the absurd style. No meaning for words, no meaning for life, no meaning for anything on the stage. This is the major or different issues between uh, absurd theater and other styles in the drama. This is an example how actually they use words and uh, in uh, and the phrases in uh, opposite theater. Be this exercise, we are going to use the uh, two things. Here we are going to use yes and no to create a conversation between two characters. It depends on the body language, facial expression, and gestures. So this is the only things that we are going to use it so you are going one actor he is going to say yes all the time and the other actor he is going to say no all the time so during the conversation between the two characters they are going to improvise so improvisation the major element be an absurd theater we have a lot of activities we have a lot of uh, scenes that we are going to act and we are going to focus a la major Think by an absurd theater, techniques, skills, and how actually we link it to uh, other topics or other subjects, maybe English or uh, Arabic, to make uh, a small scene about uh, absurd theater and integration with other uh, topics. We're going to make a short scene from uh, Waiting for Godot to see how actually they use language they use the words they use different situation hope you are going to enjoy it wish you all the best and thank you